today I, I wanted to record more vlogs about just kind of like our life in Texas and how it is and the things that have changed and um, just journey and journal through the life that we have in Texas, the life that we're building. And this year we chose a focus word of our focus word is strange because it goes from focus word to focus sentence and so i remember the first year the first year we did a focus word our focus word was focus and um it was focus and intentional and we learned to be focused and hone down and to really focus on what god wanted for us that year funny enough that year we ended up moving to texas so that was such a blessing and we continued to do focus words after that and that was in 2006 2017 um then the you know we kept doing focus words and so now this the last year's focus word was strength and courage and it took a lot of strength and a lot of courage to like deal with 2020 um as you guys know but that was my husband's focus words and mine was joy and i spoke about it in my last um video i was talking about how how amazing it was that the lord had given me so much joy in the midst of so much uncertainty in 2020 and then this year we chose the word building we chose the focus statement building in prayer and that was because we we wanted to build but we wanted to build in prayer and we wanted to build the right way and we wanted god to be the one to teach us how to build we're kind of at a standstill right now where our lives feel like paused for a second at the very beginning of this week which i don't know when this vlog will go up but at the very beginning of this week we received the diagnosis from for from our vet that our dog um had a disease and that he was not expected to live more than a couple of months and david and i are dog lovers and so that kind of just like threw us off in all kinds of directions but we chose to stay faithful and to stay full of faith and to thank god for the time that we have with him and of course like we 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 said lord would you would you regenerate the cells on his body and would, would you heal him from whatever it is that he has so we he was hospitalized yesterday and um his health right now is a priority to us so we are focusing on that right now so it feels like the business is at a like standstill like our lives are kind of like paused and we are waiting for the diagnosis and waiting to see like what is it that you know that the final word is we're thankful because the lord really if he doesn't extend his life more than a couple of months then then he already extended it because he was really sick and we when we came back from new york city he just wasn't getting better and usually he has an upset stomach and he'll he'll get better immediately but this time he was not getting better so i got worried and i start and i took him to the vet and so um we got that news and for us um our dogs are all we have left from our home from near from new york so it was a very emotional whirlwind but we're so grateful because god really i have seen his hand in in malachi and i've seen how much god loves even animals and he cares about what we care about so that was a little bit emotional but i've i've been praying to god today today is like the first day that i'm actually at home alone without the dogs well jeremy's here i have a, a pup his name is um my mom named my dogs <laughs> my mom named my white poodle and she named him jeremiah <laughs> and so i'm like mom that's not a dog name and you know we obviously will not be letting her name our dogs anymore but she named him jeremiah and he is the only one i have here today my husband is at work and that's kind of that's also good because we are we both need to focus on work and focus on the things that um we have to steward well which brings me to the next focus word that we have for 2021 is 
stewardship. So we want to build in prayer and we want to steward the things God has given us under us. And so in building in prayer, we're also asking God to help us be good stewards of what he's given us. Um, if you can see there, I, I had revamped, I had gone on a revamping session in my house and I, I put up a gallery of our of our pictures that we took last year. I'm also painting my kitchen table, which I might record that, I don't know. Um, I'm painting my kitchen table and revamping my office space until we are able to buy our home. And yeah, so a couple of things are going on this year for us. Um, we are in the market to buy a home right now. So it took us a little bit to do that. We've been living in Texas for two years now and we wanted to be here for a little bit and know that we can really set root, roots here before we actually bought a house so god god also was good good to us that we were able to wait and we had to wait anyway so that was good and um what else is new for us right now well right now we're waiting for our dog to get better we're waiting for we have I think I mentioned I have a Cocker Spaniel he's the one that is sick right now we're waiting for better news tomorrow we should get some news as to where he's at with his health and what's going on um, what else can I say is going on so with my Etsy shop it's undergoing a couple of um, changes and I'll talk about it more when we move as we move forward with the changes that are going on and we're kind of just focusing on what's the vision for it and where I want to go with it what's the end goal and what I want to do with it so and what I feel God leading me to do with it um, my my passion is speaking and writing so I I want the Etsy shop to be centered around speaking and writing so I want to write more devotionals and I want to write maybe mini books and um, I, I I want to write a book that's that's my passion um, when I was and this video is all over the place but again it's a blog and it's supposed to just give you insight into our lives and what we do uh, as early as I can remember um, I would go to Barnes and Nobles with my mom and my sister and my sister was always a bookworm I became a bookworm afterwards like after I got older and my sister was always a bookworm she loved reading she enjoyed it so much um, and I always loved journals I was always looking at notebooks so that I could write in them and so journaling and writing and and speaking has been a passion of mine since I was a like since I was like five so writing was something I always enjoyed and I always excelled in in school so my English classes were always the ones that I would get A's in because and the, the professors and the teachers were always really impressed with my writing so because I as a young child I had like a very adult voice and and I was very comfortable with with writing so writing is mostly my passion It's mostly what I love doing so um, we, we I want the Etsy shop to be centered around journaling writing you know so that's kind of where I'm going with it so yesterday was my husband's birthday and it was his 30th birthday and I was so happy that I, I still chose we still chose to celebrate we we stayed home yesterday they they have him they have Malachi hospitalized but they send him home to us at night so that he can sleep with us and feel the most comfortable and that way um, we can help him the most in his healing journey so because one of us had to supervise him because he had a catheter in um, we chose to stay home from church and celebrate David's birthday and have like a, a dinner at home and watch movies together and just kind of like hone in family time and, and do that so that's kind of like where the week has gone as we wait for whatever it is that God has in the future for our pup our loved loved pup so our focus word is building in prayer and stewardship. Um, just kind of like an update as to what we're doing, Malachi's health and not feeling all that good. 
um, revamping the Etsy shop and seeing like what's the vision where we're going with it this year and what God wants us to do with it and our writing. Me wanting to write a book. So I'm, I'm excited and I, I'm excited, I'm scared, but I'm excited and I just have to be courageous and be strong and know that God is in control and he's in my future. So if he's in my future, I know I can trust that. I can trust that I'll be okay. So I am going to go ahead and wrap this section up um, because I have to cook dinner. guys so I kind of fell off there I my husband just got home we're about to go pick up my dog he is doing better they give it they're saying that he's doing better today um, I cooked dinner my husband just got home from work it's been a lot of writing things down in order to be able to execute so that is what I've been doing all day today. You guys, this is a little cute little. So we love coffee and we will, we will love coffee till the day we die. And so I am kind of taking a breather and kind of just wrapping this up a little bit more formally because it's been, I feel like it's been like a diary entry. Don't you guys love those pictures? They're so pretty. Um, I'm really grateful I was able to um, edit a YouTube video that's going up next week Wednesday and what I what what my hopes are is that I'm able to to have a video every Sunday and every Wednesday Sunday because I feel that whenever I am bored at home after church and I'm just kind of like winding down and I I'm planning the week I'm, I keep looking at this video and I just kind of, I love this right so that's actually a prayer that's on my Etsy shop now. I don't know if you can see that. And you order it on my Etsy shop. I, I sent it to you. It's a physical item. I send it to you, but you frame it. So the frame is not available. Um, it's just the print. So go to my shop. Link below. Anyway, um, let me wrap this thing up. Today has been more of a venting vlog than anything else. And it's been more of a daily vlog of what I've... What, of what I've been doing today everything that people see on like YouTube and Etsy and all these different platforms it's mostly like 80% planning and 20% execution <laughs> I got a lot of things done today and I'm really happy about that so I am going to wrap this up take care and bye
like David and I, we plugged in right away. The moment we got to Texas, we plugged in. And um, it was hard, it was a difficult journey, but um, just having a group of believers and a group of people and, and a support group that would help us and just kind of be with us, go out with us, um, go for coffee with us, that was really helpful. When you move to a new state, it's so important to find people, find community, um, people that are going to go out with you for your birthday, people that are, are going to hang out with you whenever you need it, someone that's available to talk if you need to. Um, it's so important to do that. It's so important to, to find that. So um, for David and I, that was church. When David and I were in New York City and we decided to to move to Texas, one of the first things we looked for was a church community. Um, we were looking for churches and emailing pastors from the time that we were in in New York without even having the apartment ready. We had we had churches lined up that we were gonna visit just because we knew we didn't want to be without a church family or a church home or whatever. So it was easier when we got here to like get plugged in because we already had those things lined up. Don't underestimate the value that people bring to you and don't underestimate I don't I don't ever want to underestimate and I'm glad I didn't underestimate the value of people because the moment we moved to Texas, you know, the sadness you feel and, and and it does set in, you do feel sad, um, can be offset by by spending time with people who will speak life into you. And for me, that was our church group, that was our church family. They helped us tremendously. They, you know, we were just plugged in. We were plugged into people. We were, we, um, we were plugged in. We looked for people. We, we didn't stay alone, you know, and, and that was important. Um, Anyhow, so yeah, I'm going to coffee with a friend. It's gonna be nice to just kind of reconnect with her and say hi and, you know, kind of just chat for a little bit while we wait for um, our vet to call us with the news. And so I didn't want to be home twiddling my, my thumbs. I am probably gonna log back in or check back in later. Hey guys, so I am, today's Sunday. <clears throat> And we got further news from our doctor, our vet, and indeed, um, the diagnosis was that he was sick, that he is sick. And so we are doing everything possible so that we can make him more comfortable and so that, you know, we can give him the best possible outcome for the Lord to heal him. So I am just doing like a little schedule of everything that I have to like do for him since I have to feed him four times, uh, four times a day four to five times a day I have different supplements that I need in order for him to thrive and in order for his um, condition to thrive so what he was diagnosed with was um, chronic renal um, disease and so we are going to just change his diet change everything that we need to we have a lot of hope our hope and faith is in Jesus but we're doing our part so that he can thrive in this season that we're in so you'll probably see a little time lapse of just me putting things together and doing whatever it is that I need to do bye bye So I am here and I finished the um, schedule of his new diet plan. We are following our vet's orders as to like what we are to feed him and how much we are to feed him. We're also doing a lot of research ourselves to see like what this new reality looks like with him. Um, we are walking with him daily at least an hour so that we can get some circulation to his kidneys and so we're doing everything humanly possible to be able to help him and just help him thrive in this season um fully aware that his condition is completely 
healable by God, if that's even a word. And um, trusting God that he is going to turn this thing around and just um, change this thing. Um, but we are also just doing our part and praying and seeking the Lord and asking God to change you know the circumstances but um obviously this is a long haul thing and we're full of faith but we're also um backing our faith with works because faith without works is dead so obviously this was a little bit of a shock for us because again we went in for an ear infection and all of a sudden this happened so that was a huge turn of events it's also a little bit emotional because um malachi is our pup that we brought home from New York City and so we when we moved to New York when we moved to Texas um we we brought these two pups and it became David me and our dogs and it was like home was wherever we were you know and so obviously we didn't we didn't we didn't kind of like it was just so shocking like the diagnosis was shocking we just never it was just a punch in the gut we didn't we never even thought that that would that this was a possibility but we're full of faith and we're trusting god and we we just trust god with whatever this thing looks like so i've learned so much about just puppies and and dogs that have had this condition and if you have had a dog or a pup that has gone through this my heart goes out to you because it's definitely an emotional situation um, and if you have any kidney um, diets that you can recommend that you made at home, homemade um, things that you made at home for your dog, leave me a comment below with those links. I would love to like look into them and further research like what is good for them and what's not. So he is on a low protein diet. So that is kind of where, we're, where we are with this. Let me let you guys go. Let me continue this thing here. And um, yeah. Take care, you guys. Bye. This was me attempting to clean my office space. I was able to clean it, and I did get through the entire thing. But I was also catching up with my best friend from Florida and her husband and her sweet daughters at the same time while my husband was also working on the computer. And it's just a mess, but I really enjoyed catching up with them. So this is my final log off. Um, it's my very first weekly vlog and it was such a great distraction from everything that has happened this week But I'm so thankful that I was able to record it um, Hopefully in the future I will be a little bit more organized because I feel like I was all over the place But it was it was my very first weekly vlog and it did feel more like a ja uh, diary entry um, more than a weekly vlog but um, I'm so grateful for you guys and I'm so grateful for the questions I've had and the feedback and the comments and the concerns and even the prayers that have been sent my way. Um, you guys have such a blessed week and please like, subscribe and follow for more. Bye bye.